Hey everybody, welcome to my roughly five minute uh, distribution preview of Ultimate Edition 3.4. What you can see here is running off of GNOME Classic, and at the end I'll show you that it also has a uh, Cinnamon and uh, GNOME and um, Ubuntu's Unity installed. So you get all of those uh, desktop environments by default. Now you can see the comp is, is running. The um, installation requires about 16 gigs of space, and uh, to really work well, you need a 3D graphics uh, capable processor. Um, I'm running this in VirtualBox, so I had to do a little bit of tweaking just for it to be uh, usable. I'm actually um, somewhat impressed with uh, the look of everything. It's a nice dark theme. Um, a lot of things don't quite match, but um, you know, that's okay. got the ultimate edition uh, music player right here which will pop up momentarily got your um, your various folders you can switch between desktops if you want move my mug over there okay for whatever reason up oh, and here we are oh, oh sorry that's the system monitor telling you uh, what I'm running here. There we go. So Ultimate Edition is simply uh, Clementine, which has been um, reskinned to match the rest of the interface. It's got the uh, the little meme guy there. It's like do all the X's, do all the things, whatever. Download all the torrents, which I actually thought was kind of funny. I laughed when I first looked at it. So. Let's see what else we got here. Um, we've got Firefox. Let's see what version. Now I did update Firefox after downloading. Yep, thirteen point zero one, and uh, one of the pre-installed items because um, it, it does come with a bunch of add-ons pre-installed um, was not compatible. So um, one of the things that you'd want to consider if uh, adding these to a distribution is um, you know select add-ons that are likely to work six weeks later when Firefox does another update otherwise um, I don't know if it's even worth including it to be honest because it's kind of annoying to open up Firefox for the first time on a fresh install on a distribution that just came out today and find out that I have to uh, already download some Firefox updates. But hey, whatever. No big deal, I suppose. Let's see, the Terminator um, terminal. This is really cool. I don't actually use this one, but I heard uh, Darren on Hack5 talking about it. It's really cool. You can uh, full screen this, do a bunch of stuff. See if HTOP is actually whoa, HTOP's already installed. Now this is one of the cool things about um, Ultimate Edition. And it's great because it's actually working. Is that it does have a ton of whoops. You know what? It probably wouldn't be able to read my processor anyway. So let's take a look at these um, applications that come pre-installed. Oh my gosh, look at that, it's just loaded with stuff. Some of the stuff I haven't even seen before. Oh, screenlets, what's that? Okay, so this is probably something similar to... Uh, oh, I see. Similar to the ones on KDE, I would imagine. games, some graphics tools, let's see if they got GIMP 2.0, oh come on buddy, GIMP 2.8 just came out a couple months ago, you can at least uh, put that in there, why not, right? I mean, uh, Ultimate Edition isn't a terribly stable distribution, so um, <laughs> why not just put the latest and greatest on here, right? I know Linux Battery was talking about how unstable the previous version was, but this is actually much better. Um, if you don't mind the uh, jumping and... Oh, that's crazy. Oh, 
I love blue fish out there. Some icons that don't have icons. That's that's kind of funny. Um, earlier on Tumblr, I was talking about how you couldn't read the installer because there was a white background under, over um, with white text over it, telling you what the requirements are for uh, installing it, which uh, was kind of frustrating. Hmm. Now this is really over the top because you got DVD rip. You've got so many music players here. I wonder. Amarok, but you know he didn't install Acid Rip. But you know, um, one of the great things about uh, Ultimate Edition and other distributions like it is if you're new to Linux, you can come in and check it out and you can um, see what a lot of other things are, um, what, th what other things there are to offer in uh, in the Linux world. So even though this isn't necessarily the best distribution out there, I mean it is a little bit buggy. Let's see if I can if the panels actually load. I'm really hoping the panels load. Earlier I was running this and I had to So it looks like um yeah ugh. looks like I can't load these panels and I'm gonna take a little bit more than five minutes on this distribution after all because I want to try to get through and figure out how to get this stuff back. Um, okay everybody so it looks like I figured this one out so let's go back to full screen really quick. Now what you need to do when you're in virtual machine is simply uh, insert the uh, control delete command and whoops and go to log out boom and you're out of the little glitchy area there so Gn um, gnome doesn't quite work i'm sure gnome classic works pretty well let's check this out sorry if this video is running a little long oh cool nice i've always liked the uh, the ue load screen for no effects, it still seems to have plenty of effects, so perhaps that option didn't take. Let's try this again. I must have, uh, must have opened up the wrong one. I'm still doing it. I'm sure if I wanted to, I could just take out a uh, compass. Huh. This is something worthwhile here, is that if you start running into some really weird glitchy stuff with um, Ultimate Edition, you can always go in and load up um, the uh, Ubuntu... Um, oh, great. oh, here we are. Okay. Sorry, I thought it was going to gnome out on me. Oh, this isn't so shabby. So Compez is disabled. So if you run into any weird Compez, Compez glitches. Sorry about the noise on my fan there. <laughs> oh, this is cool. I have to give him credit for coming up with a pretty cool um, black theme, although I think that was probably already on Gnome Look. Hmm, XBMC comes installed. I don't have any videos on here, but why not Let's see if it runs? Nice. That appears to be functional. Go back to 
Oh, tons of cinnamon. Huh. Well, unlike um, GNOME, it seems to be functional. Whoa, what the? <laughs> yeah. That, that that was kind of funny. But you know, I am running this on a virtual machine, so I could probably expect to run into it. Oh, interesting. See, that graphic la layer is, doesn't work well with GNOME. <laughs> All right, so let's go back to, whoops, classic which is, of course, the uh, default for Ultimate Edition. Oh, cool. So there's a um, PDF guide pre-installed, which can be very useful. I'm sure it's probably adaptation of another uh, Ubuntu guide somewhere. Hmm. Overall, if you want to get a distribution with, with a heck of a lot of uh, content to it, Go ahead and, um, whoops. Go ahead and check out Ultimate Edition. Um, it's not my kind of thing. Uh, I think it's a little bit on the uh, flaky side. In fact, oh, look at this, a crash report. Nice. Actually, just for the uh, sake of it, let's see what this crash report is about. Comp is not surprised. Well, <laughs> you know, I think it's kind of ironic that this is a, a long-term support edition because, um, oh. okay, that's got to be my fault. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, <laughs> would would I install this on my uh, my desktop? No. But, I mean, you know, it's, it could just be my virtual box. It's just not playing nicely. I mean, this thing has a lot of RAM requirements, and I've, I'm pushing out uh, 4 gigabytes with uh, 4 uh, CPUs on this thing. So my intention was to uh, really give this what it would need to uh, function properly. And um, maybe it just wasn't enough. Well, anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.